Hey guys, this is Sterling, an eight week old puppy that we just got from the shelter yesterday. And this puppy um, has just left its uh, three other little, no, four other little siblings. So we got to get them through the first kind of week of that. The best time to uh, leave your siblings and go to a new home is about eight to nine weeks. Any, um, if you wait too long, it's not good for their socialization. So perfect. So the best thing you can do with a puppy is give them structure, teach them how to potty train, and really get a good little harness for small dogs. And you can get a collar for larger, stronger dogs. We need a harness for small dogs so we don't hurt their neck, but also so we can actually teach them how to use a leash and teach them um, how to um, you know, use a leash in the house. A lot of people just use leashes outside the house, but no, the way you're going to potty train a dog and get them through teething is actually getting a good harness and a good leash and using it in the house. So when you first get a new puppy, this is day two, guys. We just got this dog in last night, and we just put the harness on this morning. And when you first put a harness or a collar on a new puppy, they act itchy. And they don't even know how to use a leash, so a lot of times they won't move. Don't pull them around. Just use it as a loose leash and see if you can get them to follow you. All right, so you're not pulling them. This, one, this little puppy, Sterling, is a quick learner. He just learned how to do this in about two minutes flat. Usually it takes uh, uh, dogs about two, three hours or a couple days to kind of learn. So Sterling is exceptional, but this is how you're going to potty train dogs. If you've got a little Yorkie, a little Maltese, a little poodle dog, you got to get a harness, you got to get a collar, you got to teach them how to do this in the house. If you don't do that, uh, what you're going to chronically be doing is following these dogs around, and when they pee and when they poop and they, when they chew on something they're not, you're always going to be behind the eight ball, and it's going to really slow down your potty training. So this is really good for them. The other thing I'm going to get for this little one is a little rope toy because this little one's going to be teething. I don't want it chewing on my hands. I don't want it chewing on the leash. So I'll give it a rope toy to redirect it whenever we need to. Okay? That's Puppy Training 101. You get a small puppy, this is what you got to do. All right? We'll have more little um, seminars and training tips to come. We'll send you a newsletter out soon too. All right? Good day.